What's going on everyone, Mario here with AutoDS, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about everyone's favorite subject, money. In particular, profit margins. God, I love money so much. So when it comes to drop shipping, one of the biggest questions that a lot of people have is, is it worth it? Can you actually make money drop shipping? And how much of a profit can you potentially make? So in order to understand this, in order to understand the potential profits that we can have access to, the first thing that we need to do is understand exactly how drop shipping works. So what exactly is drop shipping and how does it work? So drop shipping is pretty much just a fulfillment business model, which simply means all you have to do is fulfill orders. So this is how it works. You set up your online shop or your online store. Somebody's going to come to your website and they're going to make a purchase for, let's say, a pair of shoes. Those pair of shoes they purchased for $150. So what's going to happen now is that order is going to go to you. Now from there, you're going to go ahead and take that order, go to your supplier's website, sign on to the website, look for that same product, order it from your supplier and have it shipped directly to your customer. That's pretty much it. There's nothing else that you have to do. You don't have to pack anything up. You don't have to print out any shipping labels. You don't have to calculate shipping. None of that. All of this stuff is going to be done directly with your supplier. They're going to take care of all of the hard work and the manual labor. All you have to do is essentially just forward the order from your store to your supplier. Now for your supplier, what you're going to do is you're going to pay them maybe about $50 for the shoes, which means the remaining hundred dollars, those are going to be your profits. Those profits are what's taken into consideration for your fees and for anything else that you need to take care of, which we'll be talking about in a little bit. So now that you know exactly how dropshipping works, let's talk about our profits and how much money we could potentially make. Now, typically speaking, when it comes to dropshipping at the start, when you're getting started, when you're first starting to learn the ropes, most of the times you're going to be looking at anywhere between 15 to about 25 or 30 percent. That's going to be the average simply because when you start, you're still figuring things out. But obviously, if you want to get started on a strong foot, if you want to get started and learn everything that you can, then make sure you check out some of the other videos that we have on this channel because we teach you everything that you need to know. But when you do get started, you can expect anywhere between the 15 to about 30% range in terms of your profits until you can start to learn a little bit more and find better suppliers. Our suppliers are going to be a huge factor in our profits as well. But after some time, Typically, people that have experienced dropshipping, they start to expect anywhere between 30 to about 45% profit margins, which is obviously a lot better. But then you can go even further than that once you start to really learn the business and start to build some strong relationships with your suppliers. And some people are making between 50 to 60% profit margins. So you do have the potential to make a lot of money with dropshipping. You just have to keep going, stay consistent, and learn the business, kind of just like with anything else. Now, there's gonna be a lot of things that factor into our profit margins. And the first thing is gonna be, obviously, how much we sell our products for. If we sell it at a lower rate, we can expect a lower profit margin. But if we sell it at a higher rate, we can expect a way better profit margin. But depending on how much we're selling our products at, we might not even get any sales if you're not pricing appropriately. And that's the most important thing that you need to take into consideration. How much is the product that you're selling being sold for on average. It's okay to have your product maybe five or $10 more than somebody else because it happens. That's how business works. It's okay to have it maybe five or $10 more or maybe five or $10 less, as long as it fits into your profit margins and as long as you're still making some money. Besides that, the other really big factor is like I said, your suppliers. So if your suppliers have good prices, then you can sell your products at a better rate or sell them at the regular retail rate and make a higher profit margin. Our suppliers are gonna be huge factors in this because one supplier might charge, I don't know, $10 for let's say a dog collar, while another one might charge you five or $6. Now, another thing you need to take into consideration is gonna be your selling fees. So depending on where you're selling is gonna depend on your selling fees. Now, if you're selling on Shopify, you can expect to pay anywhere between maybe about two to 3% with an added 30 cent fee per transaction. You also need to take into consideration your monthly subscription costs. So Shopify does have monthly costs or yearly costs, depending on what you choose. The monthly cost is gonna be a few dollars more expensive than if you go with the yearly route. And besides that, also your domain name. So if you have your own custom domain, www.mystore.com, that's another thing that you're gonna to have to take into consideration into your fees, because typically this is something that gets renewed every year. And depending on your domain name itself, 
the price can vary between maybe six to about fifty dollars. Now, if you're drop shipping on a platform like Etsy, you can expect to pay to start fifteen dollars to open your account, and then per transaction, you're going to be paying about two to three percent, plus an extra six percent through Etsy fees. eBay has variable percentages when it comes to their fees, but you can expect anywhere between about 10 to 15% on average for eBay. And then you also have to think about your marketing. So if you're drop shipping on your own website like Shopify, then this is something that you are gonna have to have in your budget because if you don't market your store, then you might not be getting any traffic. Nobody's gonna know that your store is there. So always remember, if you have your own drop shipping store, your own website through something like Shopify, Wix, or WooCommerce, you are gonna have to set aside a budget for your marketing. Now this marketing can include anything in terms of ads, so Facebook, TikTok, or Snapchat ads, or also influencer marketing, where you send some products to influencers or to some big names in social media and have them make some videos for you, some reviews, and just overall get it in front of their audience. Now this is also something that's gonna vary depending on the size of the influencer. So depending how big of a following they have, their rates are gonna change. Some might charge more, some might charge less, Micro influencers might not charge you anything, but they are gonna require a product. So that's still something you're gonna to have to think about because if you just send them a product, then you do have to pay for that product to be sent to them. If you pay them and you send them a product, that's a little bit extra that you have to take into consideration. But again, depending on the size of the influencer, you might get a big ROI or return on investment. Now, how do we calculate our profit margins? How do we calculate the percentage? Well, this is actually not that hard when you break it down. But for those of you that are not good at math, like myself, I failed, I think it was every single year of high school math, but I passed it in summer school, so it's okay. But I failed math and honestly, it's not my strong suit, it's never has been. So this was something that I had a problem with at the beginning, but this is one way that you can break it down very easily. And then after I show you this way, I'm gonna show you an even easier way. So check this out. Basically, you're gonna be running with this formula. So it's going to be your profit margin percentage is going to equal your revenue minus your costs divided by your revenue times 100. So let's take, for example, we have a coffee maker that we sold for $59.99. Now from that, we need to subtract our costs, not just our costs for the product itself, but our costs for everything else. So in this, what we're gonna include is gonna be one, the cost for the actual product, so $25. Pull up another calculator really fast. So $25. Now from that, let's go ahead and take into consideration $2 for the cost to sell on our selling platform. And let's say it costs us about $5 to advertise this product. And then our payment processor is gonna be about $1.50. So in total, we're spending about $33.50 for this one product. This is how much we're gonna be sourcing it for with our included fees. So now what we need to do is we need to take our revenue, which is $59.99, and we need to subtract our costs, which is gonna be $33.50, which leaves us with a profit of $26.49. That's how much we're keeping. But what about the actual percentage? How much are we looking to make? Well, what we need to do now is go ahead and take our profit and divide that by our revenue, which was $59.99. Now that's gonna give us 0.44. So now all we need to do is multiply that by 100. And that's going to give us a profit percentage of 44%. So again, in order to get our profit margin percentage, what we're doing is we're going to be taking our revenue minus our costs divided by our revenue times 100. Now, overall, that's not that bad. That's on the higher end of our profit margins. But what's an easier way to be able to calculate this? So if you're a member of the AutoDS family, or if you're not and you've been thinking about it, this might just convince you. So if you haven't signed up just yet, you can get started right now for just $1 for the next two weeks. And you're gonna get access to a whole lot of different features that will help you in your dropshipping business. One of them being the price calculator. Check this out. So once you're signed up to AutoDS and you have everything set up, this is the first thing we're gonna see. So you're gonna see the marketplace that's gonna have all of these different trending products. And I came across this one right here. So this is a pair of headphones and they're running for about $7.27. They're actually pretty cool. So I clicked on them and they only have a $2 shipping fee. So in total, we're not gonna be spending that much. We're gonna be spending maybe about nine to $10. Now we can sell this for a lot more. You can easily sell these for maybe $50 or even less than that, maybe $40 to be able to bring in a few more customers or to attract a few more customers. So this is how we're gonna be able to calculate our profit margins the easiest way possible. So the first thing we wanna do is find a product and click on import draft. 
Now, what this is going to do is it's going to take it to our draft section. Now, let's run over to the draft section where we can make any edits to it before making it go live on our store. So it's up here. This one right here, the R05 Air Car wireless earphones. Let's go ahead and click to edit. Now on this page, you're going to be able to go ahead and edit anything that you need. So you can change the title, you can change the category, or if you're on Shopify, you can change any collections, the shipping methods, everything. Same thing with the description. Now, the cool thing about the description and the product is that you can actually optimize it with AI and you can get very professional sounding titles and descriptions right from the screen. But besides that, we can see the different variations here. So we have the black, yellow and white, and this is where we're going to do our pricing. So we can either bulk edit everything or in this case, to get a better visual representation, I'm just going to do one. So let's click on edit over here. So this is where we're going to be able to check out our different profit margins and play around with our numbers a little bit. So here we can see that our buy price is $9.26. Our fee percentage is currently set to 13% because that's what I have it set at for my eBay listings. And then our fees in terms of dollar amounts are zero, profit percentage 10%, profit dollar amount zero, which equals out to a selling price of $11.71 with 93 cents set as our actual profit. Now, what does this mean? So what this simply means is that this selling price, this $11.71 is already taking into consideration our 13% in fees. And it's also taking into consideration our 10% profit. So this will give us a complete profit of 93 cents. Now, obviously 93 cents isn't a good profit. So let's play with the numbers a little bit. Now, let's say we want to make a profit of 40%. We want to make a way better profit, similar to the example that I gave you with the coffee machine. So we want to make a profit percentage of 40% and we're still going to take into consideration 13% in fees. So in this case, what's going to happen is we're going to be selling it for $14.90 and our profit is going to be $3.70. Now, as you can see, our profit went up and so did our sell price. But what if we want to make more than this? What if we want to sell it for $40 and see how much of a profit percentage we can make there? Then in this case, what we can do is we can switch this over to $40. And now you can see that our fee percentage that stays the same because that's something that's going to be static. That's something that's not going to change. But our profit percentage, that is something that went up. Now, if we sell this product for $40, that means we're going to be making a profit percentage of 275% already taking into consideration our 13% in fees. So selling price $40 total profit after fees $25.54. So as you can see, calculating your fees through AutoDS is a lot easier than you can even imagine. It really takes the guesswork out of everything. But if you're not a member of AutoDS and you're not currently signed up, you can use the formula that we talked about earlier to calculate all of your fees. Now, just as a quick recap to summarize what we learned earlier in terms of our fees, what we're going to be looking for is going to be 15% or more when you're first starting out. So beginner dropshippers can expect 15% fees or a little bit more. That's essentially going to be the good range. Now for an excellent range, you can expect anywhere between 25 to 40%. This is going to be for dropshippers that have a little bit more experience and have a little bit more experience in terms of sourcing their products and checking out different suppliers. Again, if you're new and you're watching this, don't get discouraged because 15% is still pretty good. But on top of that, with experience and with a little bit of time, you're going to be increasing your profit margins if you keep doing everything right. And then to be a highly profitable dropshipper, the ones with the absolute best profit margins, the ones that have stuck to this and are continuing with it. Most of the times you can expect a profit percentage of 40 to about 60 percent or more. So what did you think of today's video? Let me know down in the comments below. Are profits something that you've had an issue with? Is calculating your profits something that you've found to be a bit troubling? Let me know down in the comments below what your thoughts are. And if you want a little bit more information on anything that I talked about in today's video, if you want to learn more about how to price your products or about AutoDS overall or profit percentages, just check out the description because down there, there's going to be a link to a relevant article where you can go ahead and read up and learn a little bit more of everything that I talked about. Huge thank you to everyone for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. Wishing you all nothing but success in your dropshipping business. If you found this video helpful, make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. My name is Mario with AutoDS and I'll catch you all next time.